Tell me about the Peter Pan thing. Okay, when I was living in Atlanta, I was 16 year old runaway and uh, I was coming down the street one day up on the strip and these guys were watching me and they were messed up and so I saw them looking at me so I started skipping towards them. When I got up to them, they said, looked at me and they said, Peter Pan. They said, we're going to start calling you Peter Pan. And I said, oh no, don't call me that. You know, and it stuck. It stuck. <laughs> it could have been Tinkerbell, but I don't yeah. know. Maybe that was a better name. <laughs> uh -huh. But anyways, you know, it, it, so everybody knew me as Atlanta's Peter Pan back then. And this gentleman here was your ride to Woodstock. What's your yeah. name? Uh, my name is Van Wing. And uh, me and a group of my friends, when we heard about the festival, the plans for the festival, we purchased a $75 van, and we decided we were going to come up here. And I had a friend, Sissy Norwood, that knew Peter Pan and Dottie, who her, was her sidekick. And she said, I want to go, and my two friends want to go too. And I said, well, that's fine, so we'll pick y'all all up. Celia's mother wouldn't let her go. We went downtown. Peter Pan piled in the van with Dottie, and we headed out for Atlantic City, New Jersey Pop Festival, which we went to August 1st and 2nd. And when that was over, we just came straight on up here. We were two weeks early. So we found out that they had an office over in Elliott Traber's motel, hotel, and we went and applied for jobs and got jobs working the festival. That, that kept us alive. We had no money. We were just living off the fat of the land. And uh, I never really knew Jeannie's real name till three years ago. Uh, uh -huh. On the internet, I saw pictures of her in Life magazine, and I said, I knew that girl at Woodstock 50 years ago, and she said, that was me. And so we reconnected. It was a beautiful thing. <laughs> how did you How did you find each other through the internet? You saw the picture on the internet. picture of how did you? magazine picture. And I said, I knew that girl And you got Woodstock. in touch with the magazine? And, and she, then said, she said, no, I, on, on Facebook. Somebody had posted a picture of my... Uh, picture that was in Life magazine on Facebook on one of the Woodstock uh, Facebook pages and I had posted below it when I saw it I said this is a picture of me when I was 16 years old well as it turned out Van happened to see that picture and he next thing I know he sent a message through Facebook and he says I I knew that girl and I said well I am that girl <laughs> <laughs> Jeannie Whitworth. She said, my name's Jeannie Whitworth, and I didn't know her name up until three years ago. 48, 45, 40, 40, whatever it is, years, I never knew her real name. I knew her picture, though. Yeah, 47 years. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. So, yeah, it was, it was. Now, you were supposed to be working security. What were you doing, and did anybody get we, out of uh, hand or crazy? We never saw any problems at all. We, uh, Me and my friend Randy Abernathy, they flew in sandwiches with helicopters and we filled up a cube tra cube van with it and, and our job the only thing I really remember because it's all a haze I remember they they tasked us with driving from that field to the top of that hill with a truckload of sandwiches through the crowd on Saturday night that had to be and awfully it took hard. Us like, it took us like <laughs> yeah. four hours. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Randy's in the back of the truck handing out sandwiches as we go, and I'm driving, and we probably did two miles an hour because the crowd had to part. When we got to the top of the hill, I think Jeannie was working the sandwich. Yeah, uh, I was we didn't working know up at the top of the, the hill. The truck's empty. And uh, <laughs> for food for love in the concession stand, and our stand ran out of food. And as it turned out, I'm sure he was bringing the food up there to us and that's why we you know ran out of food yeah, randy had and randy away. had given away all the sandwiches now what were the sandwiches made out of and i heard later the food was rice and granola oh that was with the hog farmers okay hog farmers, wavy gravy in this uh -huh, yeah they had a, a free kitchen set up and that was with the granola and oh wow the 
rice and bulgur and all kinds of stuff. You and know, what, but, what were the bologna sandwiches you were giving out, or what was? I don't even remember eating the whole three days. I swear. She remembers feeding people, but I don't yeah. remember eating. I was, it was uh, it was a it was a purple haze. <laughs> Did you enjoy some of the music? Though? Oh yeah, I love the music. Did you meet any of the acts? Any of the we musicians? We went down. Me and Randy actually went down and hung out backstage some, but we were so uh, we were so intimidated by it all. We were afraid we would get caught as being imposters down there in the, in the entertainers area, and we didn't really speak to anybody. <laughs> but who, who do you remember seeing? Uh, the oh yeah, I saw uh, saw Pete Townsend down there, and I saw Janis Joplin, and saw uh, uh, Grace Slick. Saw a lot of people. Uh, we just sat around on the tables and kind of tried to be inconspicuous because we we had passes, but we knew we didn't belong there. You know, so. <laughs> wow. We didn't want to get caught. <laughs> well, does the area still look somewhat, well, besides some of the trees, look? It, it does. You can't see the lake now. You could have seen the lake back then from the top from the top of the hill here where everybody went swimming and bathed. And up here, the trees, that's where the bazaar was. And it looks pretty, pretty similar from the crossroads are laid out the same here where they crossed and up there was the, the pass through the trees. And the, it does look very familiar, but the, the trees have grown up. Of course, none of these little... Uh, spruce trees and all were here at the time. Oh, uh, that house wasn't down there, of course. It was. It was much more. What stock buses here? It's beautiful. Sixty-nine. The woman that was on 